Hi all, it's uh, JK here with quite an interesting video actually. Uh, this is a car net up video. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a tips and tricks video as well, but ultimately it's going to conclude with my opinion of it. Uh, now, I've found some interesting things out as we've been going along with this. Um, first of all, what I'll do is I'll uh, solve this problem because it's a problem that a lot of people get. Uh, what you have to do is you have to go into setup, then you have to go into uh, WLAN, which presumably means wireless LAN. You then uh, expand the wireless LAN menu. Uh, you then search, it searches for uh, local area networks. So we, we're going to join my home Wi Fi because my iPhone's cocked up somehow, being as great as it is. Uh, and I'm going to key in my uh, wireless key. So just give me a second and I'll key that in. So now, as you can see, I've uh, now joined a, a wireless area network. So if I go back to menu and then back to Carnet app, it should then load, which it is doing. So uh, that solves that problem. Now, doing it from an iPhone point of view, all you have to do is you have to activate your hotspot in settings. And then uh, once again, once you go back to the wireless LAN menu within the setup screen, it will show your iPhone. You select the iPhone, key in the uh, password, the Wi-Fi password that it provides and then you know it's the same thing you just connect to that but uh, the other thing I've noticed is which is interesting is the mobile hotspot uh, feature so what you do is you click on that enable it uh, what it should do then is um, it should warn you that you can't use that as well as the previous um, well there you go it's telling you now look please know you cannot use both WLAN features at the same time so what that's done now is it's disconnected me from my uh, home wi-fi as you can see there no data connection because now what it's saying is it's saying that the car's become a wireless router it's now providing internet connection to all devices so if we go back to um now this is shop me i didn't know it did it but if we go back to uh the the wlan screen and then click on mobile hotspot uh, what I can now do is I can uh, connect uh, my devices. So as you can see there, it's got a counter. It says zero, a very small counter. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect my I my iPad. So what I do is I go into that. It's got a password, which is preset. Then I'll go into my iPad like so. Go into settings. Um, I choose Wi-Fi. And then... The VW uh, network should appear in there eventually. There it is. So it's VW LAN, and then you key the password in as provided on your screen. Uh, for me, it's. Da -da 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 -da. I'll just key that in, and then I'll get back to you. So give me a second. As you can see, it's now connected, and uh, as you can see there, it's saying one device connected. Uh, apparently, looking at the literature, you can connect up to eight wireless devices and uh, you're then ready to go onto the internet however as we both we all know uh, if I go online um, and uh, click on Google for example it's going to error because the car itself hasn't got any source of internet now the way that works is um, I've just googled it there's a, a, a device called a, a car stick uh, I read it in my manual page 17 I believe it was uh, and um, the car stick cost 100 quid plus delivery on Amazon uh, and it was the first example I found and it is basically a dongle that connects into your USB slot there and then provides the car internet um, not sure how you, you buy credits or whatever but and I'm not sure if it's a VW thing it probably is and I'm not even sure if it's a UK thing because certainly my dealer never mentioned it to me so um, yeah that's uh, very interesting um, now, getting back to the uh, the original point of the video, what you do is, if I join, join my LAN again, if I can join my LAN again, yeah, so you can, if, you, if you reconnect LAN, it then knocks that out, uh, and then you, you obviously just join that, that hotspot, and you're back in business, that will then uh, pave the way ready for the rest of the video. So uh, yeah, the uh, car stick, basically, it's a, uh, I don't know if it's VW, but um, interesting, I didn't know about that. Didn't really know you could connect many devices within your car and use something else as the internet source. 
a uh, bit pointless because as we all know with hotspots on what and I don't know if Android uh, has hotspots but with the iPhone with hotspots you can connect multiple devices anyway and use this internet so getting back to Carnet app now if I go into it you'll see what it offers and it gives us news, it gives us weather, POIs, uh, if we hit download, nothing happens. It says, um, well it didn't happen when I did it on my iPhone earlier. Yeah, no online updates available, which is interesting. So what does that say? That VW don't support this version of it anymore, which is a bit crap, if that's true. Uh, news. Oh, it's going about an avalanche in Afghanistan. Uh, go back parking petrol stations you know all the usual now these features are all offered either as part of uh, Apple Maps using app connects and CarPlay and obviously they'll be better than that uh, or Android Auto presumably through Google Maps um, also when you run out of petrol when you're running out of petrol the navigation system kicks in and it, it asks you if you want to uh, navigate to the nearest petrol station so and so long as you keep your, your navigation system up to date um, via their website, uh, you should be laughing. Um, so basically, um, where CarNet is concerned, it's a bit of a pointless feature. Uh, I've never used it. Uh, I never will use it because I've got App Connect, and App Connect works brilliantly for me. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate where App Connect fails. And uh, even though you connect it via USB, and I'm going to show you how to fix that because what I've been doing is I've been switching the car off and uh, on again to try and uh, you know try and get it working. And uh, usually it takes a few goes before it reconnects again. Uh, so I'm going to switch cameras now and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, before I get into the app connect problem, uh, here it is. It's the Volkswagen. Quadruple zero five one four zero nine B dongle Wi-Fi expansion, uh, ninety six quid with delivery, uh, and the reviews are what are the reviews? Uh, Pro, simple and easy to fit, starts quickly. Blah blah blah. Cons more expensive than similar products. Blah 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 blah. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, you probably didn't know that because I certainly didn't know that. It's uh, bolt out the blue. And it's all because I read the manual. <laughs> and the only reason that was so is because I realised I could connect my iPhone to the uh, CarNet uh, system. And that was providing the hotspot, not my iPhone. So, yeah, it's very, very interesting. Uh, so, uh, yeah, back to the App Connect problem. Right then. So, as you can see, I've uh, connected my iPhone by USB. And we're still getting the welcome to app connect please select a device message uh very rare this happens this is the fourth time it's happened it's probably happened because i've been messing about with carnet app i found the other day also it happened when i uh, was playing with bluetooth uh, bluetooth seems to be useless on my car i can't seem to get these two to talking but that's fine because i don't like bluetooth anyway never have done so now the way i've been getting around this previously was i kept disconnecting the phone from the usb switching the car off switching it on, putting it back together again, and if it happened again, then I'd, then I'd repeat the cycle, and eventually it worked. Um, now, uh, that's earlier when I did this, I found another way of doing it was, you go into setup, uh, then you select a device, then you go iPhone, and it works. There you go. That's how you reconnect... Uh, Apple CarPlay. I can't speak for Android Auto because I just don't know. But that is how you connect your uh, steaming up in here a bit. So let's just turn some air on. That's how you reconnect App CarPlay to uh, your uh, infotainment system. And uh, yeah, it's as simple as that, really. Um, another thing I can tell you is uh, to update the maps on your navigation system. Uh, I'll probably do another video on that. But uh, if you do a quick Google you'll find that there's an area on the uh, the uh, um, VW website that lets you download the files. There's something like six or seven gig. Uh, you can then transfer, you, you download the files in a, in a uh, compressed format. You then decompress the files on the SD card uh, stick. 
and then you just plug it in and it works so that's how you update your maps as well um, let me just have a play with the uh, maps and sh show see what it looks like updating within the uh, the car okay so you're going to set up then if you go into version information uh, hit the update button this updates no data available please insert a source software well that's great so as you can see that doesn't even work but uh, yeah to update the maps you can go on to the uh, VW website uh, there's an area on there where you can download the files and um, it lets you uh, download the files in a, in a encrypted uh, zipped format you then um, unzip those files with a piece of software you have to find uh, and then you uh, you take out your SD card out of the uh, navigation area put it in your PC put the files on there decompress and then put it in then it will work you've also got to back up your map on your existing SD card just in case it uh, screws up uh, what I'll do now is I'll um, do a quick Google to see if I can find the uh, the link and here it is the uh, the, the, the screen on their v, the VW website where uh, you can update the software for your navigation system which is what we just tried to do and it failed through uh, the infotainment system so there there's your download files and uh, obviously there's your maps your latest maps so you click on the latest maps uh, and uh, there you go they the date from November 2016 not sure how often these come out not sure if it's annual or every six months uh, and uh, all you have to do is you select your car here Golf R then you select the year 2016 and um, you select your navigation system um, which is interesting so you have to measure your screen uh, going by that picture it looks like mine's a generation one uh, which is odd because mine looks like the generation one as you can see it's black uh, so I'll have to measure the screen basically to see if it's a 16.5 or a 14.7 but uh, you click on the your unit uh, and then you've got euro maps which obviously in should include the UK I'd have thought which it does it's the UK as well and there's your sizes they're massive so 12 gig now they recommend that you download in parts uh, otherwise if you try and do it in one go it usually fails they even say that and um, yeah uh, well no look it's uh, it's first it's 12 and then it's another four so you're looking at 17 gig in total bloody hell so uh, there you go that's how you do it and uh, all the instructions are there on how to do it as I say in the video I'll put a link uh, this is where Apple Apple are doing really well now in my opinion the the map the latest map as i showed you in my last video it works really well so it will cut all that out but I'd, i'm still going to update <clears throat> i'm still going to update these anyway just as a backup just in case some reason apple maps does fail so yeah that includes this video i hope you found it useful i hope you found uh, the car stick thing interesting because i certainly did let's discuss in the comments cheers